What's up guys? Today we're gonna check the push rod links. If you need to uh, extend the push rods or shorten the push rods. Here's a little trick to do at home to find out if you don't have those push rod uh, uh, length checkers. You know, this is just a normal push rod, but you can check it by having a machinist die or you can use um, a sharpie okay so let's color the whole thing with the sharpie nice and dark so you can see your line <clears throat> then we're going to put our roller rockers make sure you got them on right Okay, I have it set at zero. Well, I don't have it set at zero lash, but I will set it at zero lash. And let me turn the motor a little. Okay, that's at zero lash. sure there's no play just a little tight when you turn them okay it's tight when I turn it all right no play zero lash now turn it around about three times I just one two three let's go for one more four all right, back down to zero lash. Now, let's check if our push rods are too long or too short. And please subscribe and like the channel if you like what you see. Thank you. And now, let's take a look at this. Okay, you see how we have the line a little higher. Now, if you want that line to go a little lower, you need a longer push rod. If you want it a little higher, the line, you need a shorter push rod. As you can see, this one didn't come out as well, but I can see it here much better than you can on camera. You can see where the tip was rolling on the valve stem. All right, guys. So, once again, if you want that line to be a little lower, uh, obviously you want it to be in the middle. If you want it to be a little lower, you need them longer, the push rods. If you want that line to go up higher, you need this push rod to be shorter. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.